Hi, Russ of Aquarium X Pets here. Isopods absolutely need calcium, as it is a key component of their exoskeleton, but there is some controversy and confusion over how much calcium they actually need and the best way to provide calcium to isopods. In today's video, we'll look into the pros and cons of various sources of calcium for your isopods and the two principal ways that calcium can be beneficial. The benefit of using calcium carbonate in your substrate is that it can help to buffer the pH. Over time, as things decay and as waste is produced and organic substances decompose, substrate can become more acidic than is optimal for isopods. And fine particulate calcium carbonate in the substrate can help add some alkalinity back to the substrate. Years ago, I started adding finely ground eggshell to my substrate with this in mind. I believe that was on the suggestion of Wally Kern of Supreme Gecko. Kyle Candillion of Roach Crossing recently mentioned in one of his live streams that adding calcium carbonate to his substrate seemed to help against porcelain disease in isopods. Sounds promising, and I'll look forward to hearing more information about that. Calcium is also provided as a dietary supplement to isopods, since, as I mentioned, their exoskeletons are composed partly of calcium. The first dietary calcium source we'll examine is decaying leaf litter. Yes, leaf litter does contain calcium. Well, what are the pros of using leaf litter? Well, you're probably already offering it, and it is beneficial, as we know, for other reasons. How about the cons of leaf litter? Well, different leaves, both different species and leaves in different states of decomposition, can have different nutrient profiles, including uh, calcium. And depending on how much leaf litter you offer and the composition of that leaf litter, you may or may not be offering the quantities of calcium that your isopods require. There are also many formulations of supplemental isopod foods that contain calcium. Some, like Supreme Isopod Chow, are intended specifically for isopods and are formulated with calcium for this reason. Others, like fish food pellets, contain fish meal, which contains the skeletons of fish, and therefore calcium is present. Dried shrimp and dried whole fish also serve as calcium sources. And the pros of supplemental foods? Most of these are readily accepted by isopods, they're easy to obtain, and of course there are other nutrients offered along with the calcium. The cons of these supplemental foods? I can't really think of any, except that these foods are lower in calcium than some items that are intended primarily as calcium supplements. I believe the first calcium source that I ever offered my isopods was finely ground chicken eggshells. The advantages of eggshell, it's easy to source, especially if you have chickens like I do. The membrane also provides other nutrients beyond the calcium found in the shell itself. There are some cons, however. Wet, sticky albumin, or also known as the egg white, can be a death trap to isopods, and large pieces of eggshell are not readily eaten by isopods, so in order to be safe and effective as a calcium source, the eggshells should be dry and ground into powder. It probably isn't a great idea to inhale the fine dust when you grind the eggshells. I've used a mortar and pestle, but there are certainly other ways to grind it as well. Another source of calcium is food-grade powdered calcium carbonate. This has a lot to recommend it. It's very inexpensive. It's easy to source. There are links down in the description. And it will be readily eaten as a powder, or if you prefer, it can be easily solidified into whatever shape you like. Invertebrate Dude has a great video about how to do this, which you can watch up here. Cons. Just don't inhale the fine calcium dust. The label actually recommends that you wear a respirator when using it, so there must be a reason why that warning is on the label. Yet another form of calcium that is available are solid calcium carbonate blocks. Uh, these may be available in flavored or unflavored versions and in various shapes. The advantages of these is that they are already solid, so you don't have to worry so much about inhaling the powder. They're easy to find from various isopod vendors and even in some big box pet stores these days. Isopods seem to enjoy them, and the main con is that they can be a little expensive to, compared to some of the other calcium sources that I've mentioned. Now let's get into my favorite calcium source and my least favorite calcium source. My personal favorite source of calcium for isopods is cuttle bone. Cuttle bone is not actually bone, but the internal shell of cuttlefish, which of course are not fish, but cephalopods. The pros is that cuttle bone is very light, so 
it's very unlikely to hurt your isopods when you set it into the enclosure. It's also very soft, readily eaten, and it's easily available as it's sold as a calcium supplement for various pets, from birds to tortoises. Cuddlebone is considerably harder on one side than the other, and isopods will nibble away at the soft side of the cuddlebone until nothing remains but a thin layer of the hard portion. The biggest con of cuddlebone, and really the only one that I can think of, is the price. It can be fairly expensive, but purchasing it in bulk can help defray the cost. Limestone is my least favorite way to offer calcium to isopods. Admittedly, there are different forms of limestone, and some may be a bit softer than others, but with the limestone that I've used, the only real advantage is that it's full of small holes that can be used as hides. Limestone has some pretty big disadvantages. First of all, it's pretty heavy. It can crush isopods if you're not careful, and maybe even if you are. Many types of limestone seem to be too hard to be easily consumed by the isopods, so instead of being a useful source of calcium, it's just an expensive, heavy, and potentially dangerous hide. There are other possible sources of calcium for isopods, such as agricultural limestone. What's your preferred source of calcium for your isopods, and why? Let me know down in the comments. And thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesday all about aquarium and vivarium pets. Please share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.